Hey guys, Handy Camper here. If you're like me, you've got an iPad or an iPhone, but you don't have a uh, iMac or MacBook or any kind of uh, Apple Apple computer, but you like GarageBand, and you'd like to open up your GarageBand files on your uh, PC-based computer uh, within Audacity and be able to edit some of the uh, GarageBand files, but you've realized that Audacity doesn't support those files because Apple and PC doesn't get along too good. So today I'm going to show you how to be able to open up your GarageBand songs or files within Audacity and be able to use those. So you guys stick around. We'll show you how to do that. Okay guys, so you've got some songs or tracks on GarageBand and you want to send them over to your Windows based uh, PC but Audacity does not support these kind of files which are I think uh, MPEG4 or MP4 files. Um, you have to download a special extension and I'm going to show you about that. So you got a song, say right here you've got uh, this song right here guys. I've got it highlighted there in the blue square. And you notice your options are, uh, your options are above that square there. You see a cloud. You can save that to the cloud. Uh, right beside there, you've got the trash can, so you can delete that file. And then you right there beside the trash can, you've got a plus symbol. You can duplicate that song. And right here beside of that, here's your options. You can airdrop that to another Apple device, uh, which we, we're not need to do that. You can message. You can add to notes. I don't know why you do that, but anyway email. Email that track, email that song to yourself, and you'll be able to save that from your email to your Windows-based PC, and, uh, and then we'll go from there and show you how to download the special extension you need in Audacity to be able to open up your uh, GarageBand files. So uh, stick around, guys, and we'll show you that. All right, guys, so you've saved that GarageBand file you uh, send it to your email, you've opened your email up, and you've saved that uh, GarageBand file to your desktop or uh, some other file that uh, that you want to save it to and maybe your uh, music files or, or somewhere like that. I've got mine saved here on my desktop right here guys. And uh, so you want to um, go into Audacity and put that in there and if you were like me you noticed that it wouldn't if you uh, open the file and put it in there you noticed uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't support it wasn't supported so what you need to do to be able to open up those kind of files which are MPEG-4s I think it is or MP4s um, you have to go here to your edit and go down to preferences references there and uh, click on libraries and you'll see here this FFmpeg import export library um, <clears throat> and also you can you can download uh, the lame I call it the lame file uh, this enables you to save all your projects as an mp3 I've already got that installed so uh, we need to get the FFmpeg. I've already installed it, but I want to show you guys how to do it. Just click the download. Click download, and it opens up this page online. And we want to find it. Let's see. Where was it? Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. F. And you, it's, it's in a weird spot. Um, for Windows right here, uh, just click on the library. It opens up another one. Uh you need the download page. It's a couple clicks. Here we go. We're on the right one now. And right here is your FFmpeg file. And you've got a few to choose from. It's kind of confusing when you first look at it. You have a, uh, a zip file. And you have uh, the regular extension, which you can click here. And then I'll download uh, on your browser there. Then you can open up in the uh, downloaded files wherever it downloads to after it downloads and uh, open it up and run it and that automatically installs into your audacity for you and right here you got you've got to have uh, version 2.0.6 or later for this to work mine's 2.1.1 I do believe and how I find this out is guys when I go to audacity 
and when I first opened it up, it tells me right here. But I never, I never uh, click "Don't show this again" because I might want to know this. So I always click OK for some reason or another. But all right, guys, and if you want to know your version, if you've clicked off that screen in the past and it doesn't show up anymore, just click Help and go to uh, About Audacity. And right here it is. It'll show you what version you have right here. All right. So we've downloaded. We have downloaded the FF file, whether you've done the zip file or the uh, just ran it directly from the extension. I've already done that, and it has installed in my Audacity program. So we'll go here, and we'll go open, and we'll find that file on my desktop here. And now you see you're able to open that up, guys. So, um, there you have it. And it works just fine. And then, uh, being able to bring in your GarageBand files or even tracks. You can uh, you can send yourself individual tracks and track them here in Audacity if you want to. You can send, like, if you got the drums, because they've got some awesome sounding drums and stuff like that, if you get something that you really like, and just bring it in here track by track, download it each individual track, and then send it to yourself like that. And then you open it up in here, and then you can do all the uh, editing that you want. But, like, uh, what I like to use Audacity for, uh, my GarageBand files, uh, music files, is because I can uh, normalize the sound to make them equal to what you hear out there, and so there's n so there's not that big of a, a difference between the uh, the sound levels. Because you don't want you know you don't want people to click on one song and it be like really low or some, another song being really high. So that's what I'll do. You can select that and uh, go into your effects and go to normalize, and then set your uh, set your offset right there. Which will be right here is your levels, guys, and this is the, this is where it starts to get into the red. I'll show you real quick. You see right here where it's green. You want the yellow? I set mine to minus three uh, decibels. That's where I used it, and you can see the lines. Nothing's going over. Everything's topped off right there. Nothing's distorted. Uh, there you go. That's how you download that file to be able to open up GarageBand files in Audacity. And I hope that helps. Be sure to click that thumbs up, guys. Click that bell. I hope this video was able to help you out. Because uh, I was searching and searching and searching and trying to figure out why in the world I could not open those uh, GarageBand files. And it took me took me a minute or two to figure that out. But there's some good videos on, out there about how to do that. So I hope that's helped you out. Um, if you're like me and you've got an iPad, but you don't have an iMac or a MacBook or anything like that, you can be able to uh, to go between both both worlds there. You can have a little Apple and a little Windows at the same time. So, All right, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. Handy out.